you to name one major Australian export, what would you say? Coal or cattle? What about our cultural exports? Australian classical saxophone music is one of our greatest untapped resources that actually places us as a superpower on the global arts stage. Australian music on a whole expresses our identity as a country and it reflects our values and our ideas and how we grow. After mixing in the swirl of different musical cultures around the world, we've really come into our own. And this is particularly true for classical saxophone music. So as modern technology and our lifestyle continue to shape the way we interact with music, how can we ensure the sustainability of one particular genre into the future? Well, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be looking at this genre and I'm going to be looking at how performance careers are structured. I'm going to be looking at the different contexts, so for example, recitals, festivals, conferences, and I'm going to be looking at how established artists in this field interact with four major industry issues. These issues are project development and logistics, artistic relationships, digital music making, and job satisfaction. I don't think anyone here can say that the internet hasn't changed the way that they've interacted with music, the way that they've consumed music. And I'm sure everybody has been on public transport and seen people with headphones in their ears listening to music. So to give you a little bit of an idea about the genre that I'm investigating, classical saxophone music can be described as Western art music written for this saxophone. There's a lot of uh, different blends in there, some influences from world music, from jazz, from popular music, but as a whole, it is grounded in the Western art music tradition. So my methodology is simple. I'm gonna be looking at established artists, I'm gonna be looking at how they operate, and I'm gonna be assessing that against my own practice as a young artist breaking into this field. There's an overwhelming gap in expert knowledge and also research feeding back into the industry as a whole. Music research as a field is growing. The number of PhD candidates at this institution in music is growing. So we need to find a way to filter that information back into the field by using ethnographic methods to, not, to get that knowledge, to send it back in. And to basically, what I want to do is I have three goals. I want to document the successes of the industry. I want to maximize potential areas for growth, particularly in the digital realm. And I also want to create a document that informs young artists like myself who are graduating from their bachelor programs and are looking for ways to get into the industry. I want to sum it up this way. I'm fostering creativity. I'm trying to create new opportunities. And I'm looking to create sustainability for a genre of music that means a lot to me and should mean a lot to everyone as Australians. Thank you.